we're joined by the Pentagon's press secretary, Major General Patrick Ryder. General Ryder, good morning. Good to see you. Hey, good morning, Vlad. Thanks for having me. So, uh, General, as you know, these strikes were aimed at Houthi military targets, including facilities known to have uh, radar and missiles. A couple of questions for you there. What's the extent of the damage? How long did the strikes last? And were there multiple rounds of strikes? Well, sure. So right now, uh, as you highlighted, we targeted specific facilities and capabilities intended to degrade and disrupt the Houthis' ability to conduct the kinds of attacks that we've been seeing. And so we're still conducting the uh, battle damage assessment. Initial indications are that we had good effects. Uh, we'll continue to monitor that. So far, we have not seen any kind of retaliatory action on the part of the Houthis, but we're, of course, prepared to respond appropriately. I think it's important to remember how we got here. 27 attacks against international commercial shipping and Mariner since November 19th, multiple warnings to stop, and we said very loud and clear there would be consequences, and last night there were. How long did those strikes last, General, and how many rounds were fired? Uh, well, I'm not going to go into the operational specifics other than to say that, uh, obviously, 16 different locations uh, dozens and dozens of targets struck, again, intended to degrade and disrupt the, the capability of the Houthis to conduct these kinds of reckless and illegal attacks. All right. So as you heard from our correspondent in the Middle East, uh, the Houthis say that this will not go unanswered. You say that they have not yet retaliated. But for Americans that are concerned about a wider conflict, is this the opening salvo into another war for the United States in the Middle East? Well, it's a really important question. And since the beginning of the Israel-Hamas Israel conflict, we've been very focused on deterring and preventing this from becoming a wider conflict. And so it's important to differentiate between what's happening between Israel and Hamas and what's happening in the Red Sea. You have the Houthi rebels that are conducting indiscriminate attacks against international shipping. Over 50 countries have been affected by this affecting the economic prosperity of multiple nations. So this is not part of the Israel-Hamas conflict. This is malign behavior by a group that's disrupting international commercial shipping and putting the lives of mariners at risk. And so the international community answered that last night. The United States and the UK with support from Australia, Bahrain, Canada, and the Netherlands. And we'll be prepared to take further action should we need to. And finally, General, uh, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin gave the order for these strikes from his hospital bed. Uh, can you tell us about his current condition? Sure. Uh, so the, the secretary is doing well. He's recovering well. He's been actively engaged in the oversight and decision-making process related to these strikes. Uh, on Tuesday, when the Houthis conducted uh, their complex attack, he was monitoring that with the chairman and the CENTCOM commander and then had multiple discussions with the president, the national security advisor, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs, and the CENTCOM commander, and gave the order yesterday afternoon to execute these strikes. Once those strikes were complete, he had a phone call with the chairman, the CENTCOM commander, and the national security advisor to re review the initial effects. And of course, he continues to monitor today. All right, Major General Patrick Ryder, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks, Vlad.